Now you see there are five molecules in the screen here, A, B, C, D, E. Now here the objective is to find out what are the functional groups that's present in each of these molecules, list them down. And the second objective here is to find out what is the chemical formula, the molecular formula for each molecule. All right? Let's begin with molecule A. So I noticed that there are some heteroatoms here that are not carbon or hydrogen. Ah, I noticed oxygen. So what I do is, I do not just look at this CO double bond. Oh, this is a ketone or what? I look at the bigger picture, I zoom out a bit and see the neighbors. And I recognize that this part gives me an ester linkage. So this is an ester functional group. And what is the chemical formula? One, two, three, four, five. There are five carbon in this molecule. Two oxygens, I put it at the end. That's by convention. I'm not being pedantic. One. There are three hydrogens, recall. That's invisible. Three over here, one over there, and three over here. So in total, there are 10 hydrogens and 2 oxygens. So that is the molecular formula for this molecule A, ester linkage. Now for molecule B. Again, I zoom in and see, ah, this part is an alkene. C, C, double bond, alkene. And there's one more functional group here. Realize, this is an amide or amide linkage. So there are two different functional groups in this molecule. For the formula, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, C7. Hydrogen, two lines emerging from this carbon, so two are not shown. Let me put it there for you. One here, 1, 2, 3, there's one here, there's 1, 2, 3. Do not be fooled, these are this is not hydrogen, yeah? I end off with a carbon, always. So it's a carbon with three hydrogens. So now you total up what we have. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. So C7H13, oxygen, nitrogen. Still doing well? Let's proceed. Molecule C, uh-huh. I see two CO double bond, but they are different. So let's do one by one. Recognize that we have a CHO, a CHO, right at the end. Recall, this is an aldehyde. Right, aldehyde, CHO. <laughs> right at the end, okay? And here, we have a ketone, because CO double bond, and adjacent to it, they are all carbon atoms, so a ketone. So again, two functional groups in the same molecule, which is very common in chemistry. In biology system, you see massive amount of functional group. It's nothing spectacular. <laughs> All right, so now the formula goes one, two, three, four, five, six, C6, and hydrogen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, H10. Oxygen, two of them. If you can't see the hydrogens, let me just do it quickly. Run through your fingers, you must take your fingers. Carbon here, three lines not shown, so one, two, three. Three carbons, two lines not shown, so two. So there's three, two, two, two. Hydrogens at this location, plus one at the back, in total you have ten. Next molecule, molecule D. I see a triple bond, carbon, carbon, triple bond. That is an alkyne. And at the end, COOH, a carboxylic acid. So, carboxylic acid. That's simple. Formula, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, C5, hydrogen. There's one here. Don't forget, carbon, four bonds, so one invisible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. H6 and 2 oxygens. The last molecule, molecule E. Wow, it gets massive. <laughs> Starting from here, 
that's a carbon, CO single bond, single bond to another carbon, so that gives you an ether. Ethers are quite inert, they're not that reactive. Right? Ether functional group, and we go on and we reach this. Again, COOC, cook. Right? You see a COOC here? COOC. That's an ester. Right? Ester. I wasn't thinking of somebody just now, huh? Ester over here. And as we move on, I see a C double bond O to a halogen. So that is an acyl chloride because you see a Cl. Okay, not the Korean star who sing really well. All right, acyl chloride. Good. Coming back to the formula, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten carbons. How many hydrogens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, H, seventeen. Oxygen, one, two, three, four. Four oxygens, nitrogen, there isn't. But we have a chlorine. So, ta-da, that's all. I hope you got all this well done. If not, please revise in the videos and watch it again or consult me anytime. Practice well, uh, try to practice well and learn well. Right, thank you.